study snack. Just found Declan. Only we both pass. Shang Chi. Because the numbers are changing. Feeling in my bones. I can feel it in my veins. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Sebastian, a medical student from Australia. And it's been a while since I last spoke to you guys. So I think my last vlog uh, was during my obstetrics and gynecology rotation. And a lot has happened since then. I've now finished exams. I'm on a bit of a break period, but it's not quite a full break period because we have to still do our MD research project write up. Uh, right now, I'm waiting for my oats to heat up and I'll head upstairs and talk to you more about it. Hands in the sky. So as part of our degree, one of the requirements is to do a research project, which starts in year one and finishes up in year three. And the projects can vary in scope. They can range from a systematic review, doing a grant proposal, um, doing sort of wet lab, basic laboratory science, or in my case, doing a prospective cohort study. So some of the work that I've been doing um, these past couple of years is being involved in the study design, patient recruitment, collecting data and creating a research database. Now we're in the final sort of write-up period, putting together our final report and analyzing any preliminary data that we have. So the plan today is to continue working on the final report. I'm gonna continue refining the introduction, which lays down the context and rationale to why you're doing the project, and then move on to refining my methods section, which lays down the specific steps that you took in this project, so that if another research team somewhere else wanted to replicate your study, uh, they can and they know exactly what to do. You live and you learn, and I hope I've seen enough to make something right, make up for what I I was mainly working on the introduction and I'm sort of happy with it as a first draft. There's just so many papers and studies that you have to read and sort of synthesize the information to make a story out of it, to explain why the study that you're doing is relevant, why it's important, and what are the gaps in the research or gaps in the evidence that your project's trying to fill. But for those of you who don't know, Sydney has been in lockdown for the past three or so months. And today is the first day where they've eased some restrictions for those that are fully vaccinated, which means that you can go to the shops, you can have visitors over around your house as long as the visitors are also fully vaccinated and you're also able to have greater outdoor gatherings and there's really no more restrictions to exercising. Which is brilliant because I'm planning to meet a friend for dinner but that's not until about 6.30. I still have another hour or so until then. So I might watch some Netflix. I've been binging this show called Irrational Life. It's like this Chinese drama, um, which is pretty good. <laughs> That it. <laughs> right, just found Declan. Walking over to Ty. The classic. So we're at the car park now. <laughs> I haven't yet told you guys how exams went and what we got tested on. Declan and I, we had four exams all up. I had internal medicine, surgery, women's health, and GP. Yeah. And Declan had the same, except instead of women's health, he had pediatrics. How the tests work is that we had one on each day. They went for pretty much the whole week and it was all single best answer. You select the best one and hope that you're correct. So there's a little bit of guessing involved, especially when you're bringing it down to 50-50s. How did you find exams, Declan? What do you think of them? <laughs> they were really, really hard. Probably the hardest set of exams that we've done in med school. Oh, that was a terrible it week. Was, yeah, it was, it was a really bad week. I think I lost two kilos. <laughs> from stress but it was just rough yeah the, like trying to put things together from the last like three years and then having it single best answer so you look at the answers and there's like lots of different options and you think it could be that one could be this one it was one of those times where you really just had to trust your your preparation so Declan started preparing for these barrier exams 
a few weeks before I did. Yeah. And we got our results recently. We both passed, thankfully. Let's go. <laughs> and, Declan did, and Declan did better. But at the end of the day, I think the passing rate is like 97% or something. And if you are putting in the work, you're, you're learning something each day, um, and you're actually showing up to rotation and just trying to learn and be a good doctor, then in the end, you'll be getting through your exams. I think we get charged for the parking in like five minutes. We have yeah. to pay that stupid $5 fee. So <laughs> we're going to head out. Let's I'll get out see of you here. guys tomorrow. See ya. See ya, bro. See ya, man. Take it easy. Take it easy. Alright guys, so it's a little bit later in the afternoon, I think it's around 3.30, 4 o'clock. But in the morning and midday you would have seen I was watching a little bit of YouTube, doing some reading and working more on the research project. But right now I'm doing a workout. And last month my workout routine was mainly just doing like a push day, a pull day and then a leg day. But I found that I wasn't going as much as I'd hoped so I recently changed it up. And I've been doing this workout split called the Strong 5x5 Workout. Which is basically just a bunch of compound exercises where you do it for 5 sets and for five reps, and it's divided into two workout splits. So for workout A, it's just squats, bench press, and then bent over rows. And then for the second workout, which is the one that I'm doing now, is squats, military press, and then deadlift. I find that it works a little bit better for my schedule because you only have to uh, do it like three times a week and it hits most of the major muscle groups because you're doing a bunch of compound exercises. But anyways, I'm halfway through squats, so I'm gonna get on to the next set. Mate, what are you doing on my chair? Got my little friend to blow with me. Deb has just picked me up and we are heading over to her place. Gonna go over there, do some study, have some dinner, and maybe we'll get some dessert later. So during the year, we usually only get about a one week break between each rotation. So if we have surgery and then we move on to obstetrics and gynecology, we'll have a week in between uh, the two rotations. But we've been lucky enough to be given a designated three week period to do this research write up, which has been awesome because it's been a chance for us to relax and de-stress, particularly after these exams. And I was just checking my computer before we actually got our full mark breakdown. Surprisingly, I did the best in internal medicine and I did the worst in surgery. All the marks were fairly similar, but it was interesting to see the split. So right now I'm going to make a start on the data analysis portion of the project. So that's the research findings and then moving on to the discussion later on. I'm using a program called SPSS, which is like a statistical analysis software. But with research, it's actually really important in the medical field because when you advance through your career and you're looking through specialty programs, having research experience, skills, and previous publications are heavily valued. And by learning this now, really help us in the future. I'm just having some lunch now. And once we have this research project finished, done and dusted, 
we'll be moving on to our elective term and that will start in about a week and a half. And usually for most students during their elective term, they'll want to go overseas so they can experience a new healthcare system or a different healthcare system um, or interstate so you can experience a new hospital system. But unfortunately due to lockdown, the pandemic and everything that's happening, that can't happen anymore and we have to stay within Sydney. So I'll be doing my elective term within my home hospital. I'll be with the cardiology team. And so after I finish this, I'm going to do a little bit of cardiology revision. I'll get onto that so at least I'm a little bit more prepared come a week and a half. You guys want to know the best study snack? Snickers. Who's the go-to? <laughs> we are going to the cinemas. We're going to see Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi. I think I said that right. The Ten... What is it called? The Legend of the Ten Rings. The Legend of the Ten Rings. It got pretty good reviews on IMDb and Rotten Tomatoes. So hopefully it, it goes all right. And if you guys have seen it, let us know in the comments. Tell me what you thought. Um, but we're almost there and the movie will start in like 10 minutes. There are actually no parks, it's so busy. This is the first time we've, we're going to the cinemas in like, what, five months? Yeah. Long time, <laughs> excited. Before we move on with the vlog, I wanted to quickly talk about today's video sponsor, LG. A few weeks back, they sent me over their latest 34 inch Ergo monitor, and it's hands down one of the best monitors I've ever used. The unboxing and assembly process was super easy with a single clamp to the edge of the desk and then attaching the monitor to the stand. The monitor itself is equipped with a 34 inch display with beautiful picture quality and color accuracy, perfect for those Netflix binging sessions. The wider display is also great for multitasking and it's really helped me when doing any studying or working on assignments like my research project. I can read scientific papers, add notes to my report and work on data analysis while having everything on the same screen. The ergonomic stand which comes with the monitor is another wonderful touch allowing you to extend, retract and swivel the monitor as well as adjusting for height and tilt. No matter whether you're sitting, standing or looking at it from a weird angle, you'll always find a comfortable position to view the screen. The compact and sleek design also means that it takes very little space on the desk, allowing more room for you to personalize your workspace. So if you wanted to read more about this monitor or any of the monitors in the LG Ergo lineup, be sure to check out the links in the description below. Morning guys, so I've got my coffee here and I'm back at my desk and I'm gonna try keep working through the data analysis today and because I'm back on my computer, it's a little bit easier to work on a bigger screen than on a laptop. So I procrastinated enough by watching YouTube in bed this morning, so I'm gonna get onto it. I give this six, this is one, yes, this so becomes three, and this becomes two. Some people could have said that they had this and this. Mm. So now they can choose two options no, but per I one. I think I get why you had to do the other way. Is because the numbers are changing, the ends are all different. So that's why I would look, I would look off, like it wouldn't actually represent what's happening properly. It is a lot later in the nighttime. Scott, my brother, was just helping me out with some of the data analysis because he did a lot of statistics in his undergraduate degree. And I've been trying to learn how to apply the Man whitney U test and the chi-square test, depending if you're using categorical or continuous data. Um, so definitely learning lots and the projects turning out to be a little bit more difficult than I originally thought. So the thing I found about research, and this was true even during my honors year, is that a lot of the work, you really just got to put in a solid few hours. I find that if you do little tidbits here and there, uh, you don't really get into that, that flow zone. So it's been a long day and I'm going to end it by joining some friends um, for a game of League of Legends. A few of you asked what 
champion or role that I played in a previous video. I mainly play ADC and my favorite champ is probably like Lucian or Cogmore at the moment. So anyways, I'm gonna join the Discord now. Look who it is. Yo. Hey Let's, how you going? Just need four net wins and I'm platinum. It's doable. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Alright lads, it's Friday morning, Declan has joined me and we're off to play game tennis. It's warm and it's forecast it's rain. It's cold dude, it's meant to be like 15 today. Alright guys, so we just finished playing and look at this storm brewing. It started raining so Declan and I are just collecting all the balls now. <laughs> There's the big man <laughs> on his way. Mine's the Wilsons, yours are the yeah. other one. So we just finished up with tennis and feeling pretty hungry. So I won. Gonna... <laughs> 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 uh, so we're gonna grab some food. Food looks so good. Let's go. Alrighty, so we're back home now, and we just avoided the rain. So we we played at the perfect time when it was still sunny, uh, before the storms are about to hit. So we're gonna. <laughs> what are you doing, mate? <laughs> gonna have some Thai. You know the song? Yeah, everybody knows the song, right? Bro, are you gonna bless us when you sing in quotes? Definitely not. <laughs> Alright guys, so Declan's headed off and I've got into something a little bit more comfortable. And so this week has been a long one, but a good one. And it's also good because we have a little bit more sense of normalcy now that we can go to the shops and have friends visit us. But I'm gonna end the vlog there. Big thanks again to LG for sponsoring this video and for sending me over their monitor. It's been awesome, it's got excellent picture detail and if you wanna check it out, I'll leave a link in the description. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. And until next time, this was Sebastian. Stay sharp. So Declan, mate, how'd you find the exams? <laughs> oh, bro. Are we actually going? Yeah. That's not helpful, bro. Do they want to know that? Let me think. Just giving you time to cut. ABC. <laughs> two hands on the wheel. Ten and two. Good job. Actually, that looks, that looks HD. Keep that. He's scared of heights. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's gonna be so minimal, but it doesn't matter. Always. Come on, you know that one, sure. Snow life. Yeah, snow life. Come on, dude. Alex. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's good. He's <laughs> I'm, I'm good. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> Alex is there. Yeah, bro. Oh, bro. I'm smashing it. That Pokemon Go coming in class. <laughs> yeah. All the OG ones I can remember. Yeah, these are all first gen. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh. oh, it's the egg one. Is that Jigglypuff? It's Jigglypuff! Oh, oh, it's Jigglypuff. <laughs> I'll just um, move it so I can see you as well. Um, that's all I need.
Sorry, dude. <laughs> What's a uh? <laughs> it's a soft boy song. Alright, here's my mixtape. Don't put that in. That's copyright. Is this like random songs? If you drop. 